Hi, I'm Zach Hall, and today we're going to be talking about what dropshipping is and what it actually takes to get started with dropshipping. Inside this video, I have three easy steps that you can implement today to start your very own dropshipping store. Stick around to the end of this video because I have personal tips that have helped me generate millions of dollars online with dropshipping that I want to share with you. Also, if you want to be updated regularly for when I'm posting new videos of secret insider tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe here to my channel and then turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video. So how do you actually start your dropshipping store? Simple. Step number one, go over to Shopify, sign up for their 14 day free trial. There's no credit card or anything required there. Um, it's a true free trial. Sign up for that. Your second step is going to be creating the actual visual of your store uh, with what's called a theme. The theme is the actual visual of your store. Step number three, you got to list products on your store. So you need to actually get products, put them on your store so people actually have something to buy from you when they get over to your website. And step number four, you need to enable a payment gateway so people actually can pay you for when they're ordering their products. Um, one of the easy common ones to use there that works pretty much worldwide is uh, Shopify payments. But I would also encourage you guys to look into uh, enabling PayPal, possibly Apple Pay, Amazon Pay. Do some looking around there, see which payment gateways are going to work for you, and then enable the ones that are going to be the best fit. So if you've been wanting to open up your own online business, but you're not really sure where to start, you're not really sure what products you should sell, and you're not really sure of like the whole process of what it actually takes to run an online business, that's what dropshipping is for. Dropshipping is a very, very good platform, a good method to start with in the beginning because it doesn't require any overhead, essentially, basically no overhead. You don't have to buy the products. Um, until a customer buys from you, you don't have to hold anything. You don't have to worry about having a warehouse or, or a, a area to actually store the products. You don't need to be an expert with pretty much anything to succeed at a massive scale with dropshipping. Essentially, all you need is a computer. You need your online store with your products on it. And then you just need to have a basic understanding of how sales and marketing works and uh, you just grow off of that. So should you start with a general based store or should you start with a niche based store? This is a very common question in the dropshipping space. It all depends on your intent with what you're planning to do. In my instance, I started with a general based store and this is what I would recommend to most people starting out because you don't actually know what's gonna sell until you know what sells. And most people when you're getting into the dropshipping space are just doing it to make an extra side buck, right? If you don't have the passion backing your item or if you don't have a passion backing the actual industry that you're going into, I would say definitely start general and then let your general store and the products that are selling on your general store dictate when you should go to a niche specific store or a single product store. So if you're wanting to grow massive influence or if you want to get an audience built around a certain industry, then I would say start with a niche based store, but be open to the products that you're putting on it. Keep things within that industry on that store. Um, don't just focus on a single product store until you actually have proven information of what is working and what is a winning product. Niche based stores allow you to open up a bigger spectrum of ways you can succeed with your online store with things like SEO, like you can really optimize your search engine optimization with a niche based store, unlike you're going to be able to do with a general based store. So I think the end goal overall needs to be a niche based or a single based store. Um, rather than a general store, but I think it's a good practice in the beginning if you're very new to this game to start off with a general store. But again, it just depends on your intent. One of the things I want to share with you guys is this is not an overnight success thing. This requires real work and it requires a lot of time if you want to see results at a massive scale. So what is drop shipping? Well, very simply, drop shipping is a method of online sales where you and I, as the retailer, set prices on our products, we sell those products to our customers, and then we actually send that order to a third party, whether that's a supplier or the manufacturer, or in some cases it can't even be another retailer, and we have them send the order out or the products to our customer for us. So we never have to touch the products. We don't ever have to worry about storing the products. We don't have the overhead of having multiple employees and we don't even need to have a physical business location to do this. Now I know what you might be asking, why wouldn't your customer just go and directly buy from that third party supplier instead of you? Like how can you get into this space and compete? Because you're probably thinking that the lowest price always wins, right? But that's actually wrong. It's a common misconception. A lot of people think 
that the lowest price always guarantees the sale, but that's actually not true. Although price can be a factor, people aren't always necessarily buying into the price or the product itself. Us as humans, we act on emotions. People are buying into the marketing, the positioning, the trust. They're buying into your actual brand, and they're ultimately buying into, with dropshipping, the impulse of the sale. Like before I got into this space, most people don't even know that you can even buy from anybody else aside from the retailer. Like a lot of people think the best deal you can possibly get is buying from Walmart when things are on sale, and that's just not the case. The internet is a massive, massive place, and the lowest price rarely wins. So I have five reasons on why people get into dropshipping, and if you're considering it, why you should get into dropshipping too. Reason number one, it's very easy and it requires little to nothing to get started. Reason number two, you don't actually need a business entity to do this. Um, although down the line as you start to grow, I would recommend that you would consider looking into getting a business entity or a business license uh, because there's a lot of benefits that come with that. Reason number three, you don't hold the inventory, so you don't have to spend a lot of your time with buying the products and shipping the products out, which allows you more time to focus on the important stuff, like the marketing. Reason number four, you have easy access to sell anything in the world, whether it's a product or a service. And reason number five, my favorite, you set the price so you control everything. So these are my tips right here, in no particular order, but I got three of them I wanna share with you guys because you need to learn this, and this might be something that you have to learn on your own, I don't know, but these are three tips that have helped me succeed at a massive scale with my dropshipping stores. Tip number one, there is more ways to make money with your dropshipping stores than just the black and white of selling the product to your customer and then clearing the difference. There's other ways to make money with it. I mean, you can sell admin access to your Facebook pixel so people can buy onto the information and use it for their own purposes. You can sell admin access to that. You can sell your products that you found that have been winning products. You can sell the information to those. You can sell access to your email and phone number list. I mean, you guys can sell ad spaces on your influence pages. So with my first tip here, I want you guys to focus instead of making money Focus on building a brand and an audience. Because when you have a large amount of people that are at your disposal, that you can put something in front of at any point, you are infinitely more powerful than anybody else who is not doing this. Because you're gonna be able to market your products and or whatever you want to these people for free. Which is gonna also allow other people and other brands to come to you and your page and they're gonna pay you to put their name or their ad or whatever for example, on your Facebook page, and it's just an extra way that you can make money with your dropshipping page's influence. So focus on the brand and building your audience. Success isn't a straight line. Failing is absolutely necessary, but don't take your losses as a complete failure. Don't let it impact you negatively. Let it impact you as a lesson. If a roadblock presents itself to you, which it will, and you let that thing stop you from getting to where you're trying to get to, you're guaranteed to fail. But if you get around every single roadblock that puts itself in your way, you're guaranteed to succeed. Guys, this is the definition of business in my eyes. Non-stop problem solving. The definition of business is non-stop problem solving. Okay, so you as a business owner now are going to have to solve problems day in and day out that's just the name of the game you can't let anything knock you out of this and if you stick to that success is guaranteed and that's not just in this space guys that's in any business that you're going to start and tip number three guys really focus on your self-development of eliminating procrastination procrastination is when you find other things to do aside from the important things that you should be doing Never confuse movement with progress because you can run all day on a treadmill and once you stop that thing, you're just gonna be in the same spot of where you started. The metaphor there is if you're gonna move nonstop in your business, right, without actually having a strategic plan to progress, then you're not gonna get anywhere in your business. That's a form of procrastination. So really focus on not procrastinating, set a plan in a daily schedule so that you can eliminate the procrastination that you have so you can really focus on what's important to you and your business. Guys, I can go on all day about this. Make sure you go over to my channel, check out some of the other videos I have in there because I have a ton of free value videos in there that are gonna show you how to go from zero to hero in the dropshipping space. So you don't wanna miss out on seeing those.
If you like this video, make sure you click the big thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. And if you guys have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to get back to you. But aside from that, guys, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you over on the next one.